Allison, young people have seen nothing but stock market carnage in the past five years. We've had ups, but we've had a lot of downs. Let's say a 20-something who wants to get involved in investing. What's the breakdown? Well, as you know, there's a rule of thumb that people say invest your age, i.e. whatever age you are, invest that in fixed income and the rest in equities. So a 25-year-old would have 25% in bonds and 75% in equities. I think that's entirely the wrong approach. I think what you should do, first of all, is look at your situation and, and trust your gut. I mean, if you're a nervous Nelly, then err on the side of caution. Over uh, 10, 20, 30 time, uh, year time periods, we can see that erring on the side of caution does not mean losses. It actually means gains security and stability. So for example, if you have a defined benefit pension plan, lucky, lucky you, then uh, that is sort of your bond. Maybe you're going to have 100% in equities. On the other hand, if you're in the entertainment industry and you've got no security or stability at all, maybe you're going to be in 80, 90% of bonds because that's your stability. So the very first thing to look at is not what you should do based on your age, but to look at your situation and your temperament. So Allison, you start with the 75, 25% rule and then adjust for your personal circumstances. Absolutely. Look at your situation look at your temperament and then make your decision. Great, thanks.